In this video, I'm going to go over registering SLES and OES servers uh, from the command line. It's real easy to do. Uh, you might uh, see if you do a zipper LR or an SL, you, you'll see that, oh, I don't have any type of uh, uh, update repository or a listing your services, no update service. Uh, you sh you sh should see an NU novel uh, here for a service. So we don't have a service. Um, registered. So let's take a look at uh, this TID. It's 3030847. It's about using the command line to register. Now you can go through the GUI, you know, through in, in YAST and, and do it. Sometimes I've had some problems with it. Sometimes it works, sometimes it, it doesn't. Uh, a for sure way to do it is the, the command line. And it's real easy to do. You just run the SUSE register command uh, you just need your your code. That's if it's a sled code or a SLES code. Uh, you just put that in there, and then your if you have OES, you'll need not only the SLES in your activation code, but the o, the OES registration code. And each one is also followed by the email of the user used to to register. And you can send it out to a log file. Another option to get a little more information if you're having problems registering is to use the debug mode D3. Uh, that that will help. Let's let me show you another thing that I use. Uh, it's just a quick script. If we just look at this, it's uh, I kind of tweaked it. I had something kind of unofficial and just recently made a little uh, smarter script than I had before. Uh, that instead of using one for SLES 10 and one for SLES 11. So if you can see the instructions, you're just going to look for the the uh, greater than less than sign and replace what's ever there with the appropriate information, your, your username, your user ad, your email address, or your code. And as it says here, do not include the greater than and less than signs. So just quickly going through it, we're just grabbing, making sure it's uh, Grabbing the the SUSE release file uh, to get the version, and if that version is 11, what we're going to do is just clean out any registration files that are there already, remove those, and then go on. Uh, if it's a 10, we're going to look for the ZCMD uh, files since it used RUG and Z, Z, uh, ZMD uh, by default. Now, if you'd like to continue using that, just remove the rem off of this and rim out this section here. Otherwise, what it's going to do, it's going to disable the ZMD and go you start using the updated zipper commands instead of RUG, and, which I like to use. That's just a personal preference. So I put that in there. If you'd like to continue using RUG, just rem this out. Just go in here and you know just go right down the line and rem these out. Otherwise, uh, and, and remove this rem here so that ZMD ZMD starts up again. So that's that's the SLES 10, only if it's a SLES 10 or OES2 server, which hopefully you don't have anymore. <laughs> hopefully you're at 11. All right, so now we're on to, and if it's not nothing, none of the two, then, uh, neither one of them, then just exit out. So here is, uh, which I could probably put in the very beginning, but anyway. Um, so the registration, here's the part that you want to, See, look at the registration codes. So if you just do a, a slash and then uh, a, a, a less than sign, uh, then there you go. It, you'll find it the first place. So ju you'll just put in like your email address right there. So um, it could be, you know, say admin at dsfwdude.com, right? So, and then uh, and remove, like I said, remove these brackets and do the same for your SLES code and your OES code. So, uh, if you have just a SLES server, so if, if it'll detect if it's just plain SLES, so maybe you, ha you have uh, customers, you're a consultant, you have customers that are running just plain SLES, some doing OES, you can just put those their codes in here and, and registration information. and. And uh, send it to a log file. And also, I created. There's two. You can pick and choose which one if you want to call it register or register debug. It's going to create both of those uh, depending on 
sometimes people like to have debug listed in there since it does have the the D3 as you can see right here the D3 uh, enabled so it's that's the debug uh, as you can see it also c comes down if you have SLUS 10 with different registration codes it will uh, detect that and do that as well uh, when it's done it will come and let me just go all the way down so when it's done you can uh, re it'll refresh the repositories make sure it should refresh them anyways but I'm just added that in there uh, list your services and then it will list the repositories and look for just the update repository so you're all set up and then just give you a message also about the log files so let's go ahead and uh, run this and let's see so register registration script removing the registration files now it's just doing the registration so detected it's a SLES 11 uh, OES 11x server 11.1 in this case and should be fairly quick okay here we go so it's going through updating uh, you can see this the SLES and the OES channels and just went through so as you can see it was adding these repositories the pools for OES and for SLES so you have your update pool uh, or updates for for um, for both oh and oh, SLES since it's a SP1 and SP2 uh, it has both updates channels so then as you said we see the uh, zipper um, uh, SL uh, this, uh, services listed so we can see now we have this n novel com uh, listed here for a service. We're then we're l listing our repositories uh, for in grepping for updates. So this is our main OES update channel and our SLES update channel. So we're all set to go. We can patch the server uh, and uh, move on from there. So I hope this uh, helped you out. If you'd like to take a look at the script, I'll. Uh, I'll have it on DSFW Dude and probably put a little uh, article along with it. So you can download it, modify um, the with your information so you can, or your, your customer's information. So if you ever have a problem on that server and you just need to re register it, you can just run that script and bam, it'll uh, remove the registration and re register it for you. All right, thanks for watching.